Hey coders this is Sneha from Webstack welcome to another episode on Mode JS series so in this video we are going to have a look on the request objects that we are passing inside the request listener in our server so let's get started starting the video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to Webstack and hit the bell to get all the notifications So now let's try to understand what is request object that we are passing inside the request listener. So basically this request object uh, stores all the information related to the request that you make on your server. So let's try to see what is actually stored inside this object. So in my code here I will try to just print this out by writing console.log like this and here I will be simply logging out the request object and let's see what happens here. So I will be running this program after saving this. I write node app.js or you can simply write app as well. Now if I press enter my server has started but nothing is getting printed on the console. Can you guess why? because we have not given any request on the server. So let's go on to the browser and give the request to my server. So I'll go to the browser and I'll simply write localhost 5000 because that is the port number I'm like running this server on. And if I check this terminal, you can check this out. We got a huge amount of data. So this data is actually that is stored inside your request object. I know it's huge, uh, but it stores all kind of information. Like if I uh, tell you, it stores the headers and it stores events as well. Also, you can see here it stores some header information uh, like it has the host that is localhost 5000 then it has some connection except like what kind of data it will be accepting like by default it is text slash html and it can be application slash xml as well so all these information this is too much i know but yes this is a really important data that we need to know about request but all of these data you don't need to remember so now let's see what are the basic things that we need to know about this request object. So now let's see some of the methods and the properties that you might use in future for this request objects. So I will explore some of the methods here. So let's try this out by simply writing dot operator. And you can see here that we got all the methods as well as the properties like you can add the listener you can destroy a session you can get the maximum listeners all that kind of stuff you can do with this request object but right now i am really interested in some of the uh, properties one of them is headers so i'll simply write request.headers i'll save it and then we have to execute this again Make sure whenever you make any changes in your program, you have to restart your server. So I will be writing node app here and just execute. And now my server has been started. Let's go to the browser and just hit the request here. So if I just hit the request, you can check out that in my code, I got all this stuff that is host. We have the connection, accept and all that stuff that I have told you earlier but not anything other than this headers. So now I'm only fetching the headers part out of that huge request object. And here this is. So let's try to add some more properties here. If I write rdq dot URL, this is a very important property. Let's save it and let's hit the browser again. And oops, I need to actually restart the server. I will be writing node app and you can see I got this beautiful slash here. That means I'm not writing anything after this 5000 that simply uh, refers to the slash as a home path. But if I write something else like slash home or let's say slash about, 
So if I write this, you can check out that this request.url property is giving me slash about. So basically it provides you the URL that you are hitting on the request on your browser. So if I write anything here like let's say about camel, so it will give me that URL inside this console. So now let's try some another property uh, which is really important uh, that is method. So request method will actually tell you the kind of method you are using while you are giving the request to your server. So let's save it and I need to re-execute my server again. So you can see I got the value as get. So right now I'm hitting this get request that is slash about slash camel or anything else you want to write here. So if you are hitting this URL, it will simply say this URL and the method of the request is get method. So there are many more properties and functions that you can use here. Uh, like we also have a complete connection, we have is paused, method and many more functions and properties are there. So you can go on and try all these properties and functions and let me know in the comment section below what all methods you have tried for this request object. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the concept of request object. And if you do, please give the thumbs up and do share it with all your friends. And in the next video, we are going to learn how to send the responses to the client using Node.js. So we'll see you in the next video.